Hey everyone, and welcome to FEE3. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Mark of the Dragon, a Lex Talionis game, and not a uh, Fire Emblem hack. So uh, with that <clears throat> comes the uh, special key binds A to X and B to Z, which is the opposite of how I usually do it. So if you see me canceling out of a lot of stuff randomly, you know, uh, my B. Anyway, uh, the main thing I know about this game is that you have uh, two, three range bows, and that's all I need to know to know I'll like it. Standard difficulty, Fire Emblem Veterans, that I am not. <clears throat> Units killed or lost forever, or casual. Well, since this is just going to be an FEE 3 playthrough, I think we can just have our units be killed and lost forever, because I don't have to suffer the consequences. And do we want fixed level ups, random level ups, or hybrid level ups? Level ups are random, but you can't be stat screwed. I feel like hybrid is like OP. We're gonna go for random. <coughs> Our story begins on the continent of Nordania in the mountainous country of Siden. Surrounded by Askia, with whom relations have varied to the west, Danal, their hereditary enemies to the south, and Fene, their long standing friends to the east. Sedan's history has been full of conflict. In 754, a great war shattered the land and divided the people. A century of fighting passed, and something was unified again in 860, but devastated Sedan remained poor and weak. Now, however, a hundred years later, the year 959, Sedan prospers. But in a small village in southwestern Sedan, things were about to change. <coughs> Alright, so, I was informed that the prologue is basically kind of a tutorial, so outside the dialogue and the story stuff, we're just gonna try to breeze through it. Alright, pup, I've given you the instructions. You've been my best student, but I'm too old to be your instructor for much longer. This is the first step towards you taking over the training of our militia. Yes, Arkin, I am ready for this. Are you two ready? Yes, Chiefess, but remember, I will not interfere. Your brother will be instructing you on his own. All right, Kala, let's do this. I am ready. Look at this fight pit. Your units are blue, enemies... Okay, so <clears throat> this is basically a uh, teach you how to play Fire Emblem at all tutorial, which is pretty cool. However, um, besides the like uh, obvious about X being the A button and Z being the B button and C being the information button, uh, we can probably just skip this. Since, you know, if you're watching FEE 3, chances are more than likely that uh, you have a little bit of background knowledge. And there is a lot to show for this hack, so we're just gonna, you know, breeze through for now. <laughs> Ow! Nicely done. Did you notice that you have an advantage against my axe with your sword? Yep, here's the weapon triangle. It's the same as in regular Fire Emblem. So, uh, no need to worry about it too much. <clears throat> That's smarts. And then it basically just uh, attack the forests, which we're already doing. I really like this sword villager animation. I think that's the default talent, but it does seem to kind of fit her. Nice growths, by the way. Four seed in. <clears throat> or seed in. I don't think I pronounced any of the countries right, so you know, get wrecked me. Ouch! You really got me. Well done, though. You've completed the training. Ooh, actually, I have to go put on some ointment for this. Excellent work, Chiefess. And you too, pup. Now let us go rest. I know I need it. You and me both. Ow. Gotta make use of these, uh, five Lex Talionis save files. Chapter 1. An Attack on Holm. Spoilers. <laughs> Alright lads, time to village. 
The <laughs> time to village. Time to pillage and be quick. Burn it down and take as many prisoners as you can. Kill them if they resist. Aye, aye boss. Let's get going. Heh. <laughs> To think that we are being led by such common rabble. What was that? You lot might be fancy soldiers, but I believe you were given to my command. Now get going. Understood. But let's not forget how much the general is paying you. That I won't, lad. That I won't. What is going on? Kala, bandits are attacking the village. Bandits? I'll gather the militia. You need to flee. Kala. Please be careful. Arkin! Chiefess! Arkin, we need to move, quickly! Yes, Chiefess. I'll stay close and help hold them off. I have to go find my brother. Oh, but where's my sword? There it is! I got a special sword. Kala's brother Brant lives in the Red House to the east. Move as fast as you can towards Brant's house. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, Pactor's sword got used up a little bit there. Uh, Chiefess's sword. Effective against armored opponents. Not cavalry. And I don't see either on this map, so I guess it doesn't matter yet. We got Arkin here. Old soldier, so, you know. He's the guy. He's got the good defense, and the nice stats, and the not dying. Here. If everyone else is a villager, he might be the only one with the not dying, so we'll see. Okay, but like, <clears throat> didn't your leader literally just say to take prisoners? Come on, what are you guys doing? You can use the C key to get additional information on units. If you hover over a unit, including enemies, and press C, you can get the character screen. You can press C again while on the character screen to get information about what the different elements there mean. And if you press C on the overworld here, you can see the enemy ranges, which is pretty cool. Nice. <clears throat> Let's get her, bro. Kala, nice to see. There's no time, Brant. The village is being attacked. Attacked? I did not realize, man. We have to raise the militia. Yes, let's go. <coughs> Visit the red houses to recruit the remaining militia. In general, red houses are important, but visiting the other houses can also be useful. But be careful. Your units are weak, being militia, and they are facing hardened bandits and soldiers. Stay together. Alright, so, uh, hold on. Let's just turn the unit range on forever. Nice. I can do that safely. I can do this safely. And these green units are gonna get slaughtered. Ooh, that hurts. Goodbye, guy. <clears throat> hmm, Luden is dangerous. Even an unarmed villager can be dangerous if cornered. I don't know about that, Chief. Better just stay here. Oh no, a bandit has appeared dangerously close to your units. But don't worry, he won't move, although he will fight back if you attack him. You can try to attack him, but your militia are weak. It's better to attack in tandem, unless your units are stronger. Okay, so we're told he doesn't move, but his uh, attack range doesn't show that. So that's something that you'll have to get used to, I guess. Let's see here, get a visit this. Erling, the village is being attacked, we need to gather the militia. Attacked? Oh dear, I'm coming. Alright, there's Erling. Uh, I don't know how I feel about letting him fight. I do know how I feel about letting him fight, though. He's got an axe, this guy's got a lance. Alright, Brant, just remain calm. Nice. Can she contribute here? She can, but she might die, so it's not. Is that a good idea? I don't think so. Nice dodge. After fighting that soldier, it is possible that your units are wounded. <clears throat> this can be bad, but don't worry. They each have a healing item called a vulnerary. To use it after moving, instead of choosing weight on the unit menu, Choose item and select the vulnerary. Okay, so you restore 10 HP. Just like in the, uh, 
the vanilla Fire Emblem games. That's interesting information. Good to know, good to know. I haven't done this in a while. I didn't actually mean to click A there, but hey, it worked out. <coughs> so now the question is, if I put my sword unit in range, will they go for her? Whoa, look at this forest unit movement block. That's disgusting. So, <clears throat> forests, a genuine, like, uh, threat in this game. Keep that in mind. I want this guy over here to fight this lance user, so we're gonna vol him, and there we go. No, go for the sword unit. Alright, miss, miss, miss. I don't know if I actually wanted to miss there, but, you know. <laughs> I'll fight to protect my friends. Okay, Ike. Alright, and now we can have this guy basically soak up a hit. Or this guy soak up a hit. No, never mind, he can't move through the forest. I hadn't thought about that possibility. I'm actually surprised he went for, like, uh, him instead of, like, the, uh, weaker Militia Axe guy, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna... Do this, I think. There we go. That works. And we gotta clear this guy out of here. So, let's get started on that. After we painstakingly move this guy across over here. Really lucky dodge there. I appreciate it. Thanks, Kala. Okay, I think we've basically seen all the animations now, so let's turn those off before I forget. Can I change the controls? I can! Okay. Select. There we go. Can I not change the controls? Okay. Hmm, maybe if I shuffle it around a little bit. I'll change this to four. I'll change select to this. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> I got everything shuffled around the way I like it. And I also like R being a uh, Oh, I got it. Here we go. This needs to change this return, and this can be, uh, S. There we go. Okay. I'm glad you can change the controls. And then, did I remember to change the animation off? Yes, I did. Perfect. Time to recruit some guys. Solvig, the village is being attacked. Oh no, I'm ready to fight. I like that. A bright and cheery young woman. Yeah! Go cheery, people. Okay. <clears throat> Lozier. Loiger? I have no idea. Come quickly. There's an attack on the village. An attack? Alright, let's show him. Alright, so we got our two enthusiastic recruits and our oh no person. Good mix. Uh, is that safe? This is safe. Boom. I am a safety genius. An attack? I'll get out of here as soon as possible. As quickly as possible. Oh, but wait. Take this. It might help you fight. I got a vulnerary from a yellow house. This game is great. Ooh. Okay, I really hope I can extract her. It's like my body feels a bit lighter, especially since she's getting like decent growths. Come at me, fools! Can 
Can she do four? She can. Okay. <coughs> Set team up. I guess we haven't seen their animations yet, so let's check it out. This is what we've trained for. Alright, so we've got Amelia, but slightly bloodthirsty here. I dig it. Kala... I'm gonna heal her just in case. You never know. Let's see what this guy looks like. Is this safe? No, it's not safe, so we'll, we'll just leave it at that for now. Yeah, see, I knew it wasn't safe. Alright, so he's got like another villager attack animation. Pretty cool. Okay. Now this is safe. 100% hit? Yeah, let's go. I'll turn the animations back off, I think. Okay, so the goal is escape. And I don't know if this is the sort of escape where you have to escape with everyone and then your lord or not, so... I'm gonna escape with everyone and then my lord. I think that is appropriate. Oh, and also that guy, uh, second to last. I really need my Jaeger here. Cause the units are, you know, as the health text says, they're just militia. They're not that strong. Are they resisting? Unexpected, but no matter. Move, lads. Time to get out. They keep coming, we have no chance. We have to gather everyone and flee, quickly. But, quickly! Yes! Way to go, Brant. You need to hurry up and flee, gathering your remaining militia by visiting any red hats that you haven't yet visited, and then flee over the bridge to the edge of the map. I'm really suck if you just left someone behind by accident. Okay. You get out of here so I don't have to waste the potion healing. Okay, everyone should be able to escape by next turn. I saved this one random green unit. I'm king of the world. <clears throat> Our homes. Kala, we need to keep moving. We don't know if there are any chasing us. Well, we don't know if they are chasing us. You are right, brother. But what do we do? Those people were not just bandits. There were soldiers among them. We should travel north, away from the coast, and warn the Count and the Arab villages on the way. I fear Siden may have an invasion on its hands. Then we need to help fend them off. Lozier, you are right. But so are you, Brent. If there is an invasion, we need to inform the Count. The nobility are supposed to protect us, and we cannot fend an invasion by ourselves. But we need to help fight as well. What about us? The sheet of one person I rescued? You must come with us. The reason we learned to fight to begin with was to protect you all, and we are safer together. I suppose we are refugees now. Okay, a hostile countryside. So like America. It's raining. <clears throat> I wonder if there'll be any uh, mechanical impact there. If we're going to the camp for protection, we need to go north through the mountain pass. I believe there is an inn just through the pass. We could stop there for the evening to rest. Going west from there, we should be able to reach the Count's Keep in two days. My uncle owns that inn! I'm sure he'll help us if he can. That would be great, Sylvie. I just hope we can get there safely. Well, what are we waiting for then? Let's get moving. Agreed, let's go. Is that my 2-3 bow? Look, someone approaches. Why, uh, hello there, little ones. <clears throat> Manners, my precious. Stay back, who are you? See, if someone came up to me and was like, hello there, my little ones, that would be an appropriate reaction. I'd, I'd be concerned too. We mean no harm, little ones. My name is Asgar, and this is my love, Rose. Charmed. You look like you have traveled a long way. Are you Sedenians? Well, I myself hail from Eastern Sedan. My wife here is a Tralian. Just like all good people. Ha! She jests, of course. Excuse me, I thought perhaps you were bandits. We have just fled the village after being attacked. That sounds most unfortunate. One might say that we are in a similar predicament. You are? Er, yes. 
We actually were just attacked. Just got away, but I dropped my bow. Okay, okay, just deny me the 2-3 range bow. Your bow, can you fight? Well, yes, quite. Well, not without my bow. We would have fought them if they weren't so many. Perhaps you'll help us? What do you mean? Well, if the coast is crawling with bandits, traveling together is much safer. True, but... Excellent idea, my precious. And if we get the chance, we can get my bow back as well. Wait, we didn't agree... So what about you? Can you fight? Indeed, I practice the mystical arts. I am quite competent at a distance. A mage? That is correct, friend. Will you travel with us? Yes, I think we need all the help we can get. And off we go! Oh, precious. Alright, so we have access to the prep scheme pretty early, which I like. We're gonna move uh, our sword guys up front, actually, because I see an axe guy over there. <clears throat> this looks fine. Check out the units. So we got Asgard here. Uh, he looks fine, you know. He's do he doesn't have his weapon! I don't know what to say about him right now. And here we have Rose, the traveler from Etrel. <clears throat> so the wind tone here grants the plus two speed. You can actually see that as a status over here, which is cool. Now if we compare Arkin, it doesn't show up as a status because it's not temporary. His skill, Savior, shows up on his stat screen. So, you know, it's a difference. The status is for temporary stuff from, like, weapons, I guess. Okay. Hmm. So, looking around this map, it's pretty big. There's like a 99% uh, chance some other guys are gonna just jump out at us. But whatever, let's just get going before that happens. Okay, you get on here, you go over here, and bait one attack and not that. Peachy. Uh, you go over here and bait one attack and not die. You can't do anything yet, so visit this house. Thank to God this you aren't one of those raiders. You're going to fight them? Well, I'll give you a tip. Have you seen the fort just up the road? It's a good defensive location. You can heal your wounds by resting there. Okay, so tool tip. You know what? Not every yellow house has to be uh, useful. I can respect that. All right, he took a hit, he gave a hit. No more, no less than what I wanted. <clears throat> Check out her animations. Nine damage. Meaty. Practice sword kill! Can this guy get into the mountain? He can. Okay, so let's not do that. Nothing bad could happen if I do this. <clears throat> Treat everyone a little bit. And this is this is perfectly fine. Oh right, animations back off. Alright, I'll turn back on when we have our archer come into power. <coughs> Okay, it tells you to hit and the damage. It doesn't tell you the crit rate, rip, though. I wonder if that's because there is no crit rate, or it just doesn't tell you. Well, it tells you here. <clears throat> yeah, it just doesn't tell you. 
Yeah, I'll take you all on. Sure you will, but... Bo! Bo! Oh, we are in business. And you can multi-trade. Hold on a second here. Unlimited power. Look at that. I am a tactical genius or something. There's a house up here. Let's get to that. Am I gonna heal this guy again? Yeah, I am. Someone has a spare bone mirror somewhere, right? <clears throat> oh, the 38 to hit. Bro, tragic. Alright, lads. We're done here. Let's move on. Alright, boss. This is all turning out quite nicely. Wait, what? It's a little too close for comfort. Oh. 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 Oh, oh okay. Well then, boys, this is it. We need to hold this here pass for the boss, man. Denal needs to be able to bring reinforcements through here, he says. We should be expecting some more men from the south. Yes, sir. You know, it's a beautiful country, see then. Sir? Oh, never mind. Sir, we have found an inn in the pass. Perfect, let's go there to rest our old bones. Welcome, welcome. Come on in and Denalian soldiers, please don't hurt me. Don't worry, old man. We've come to utilize your establishment. As long as you comply, no one will get hurt. Please bring my men the finest ale you have. And be quick about it. They get... touchy. Yes, right away. Ah, it's a fine day, is it not? I like this guy. He's like the, uh, the glass. The early mercenary bosses are always a little bit more interesting personality-wise. Okay, so I can get away with this. And I will. I will get away with anything I can. These guys are completely useless at fighting this guy, so... Let's not even try. And instead, revel in the power of the three range... Oh, that's a crit, and I forgot to turn on animations. That's like a... that's a whammy. I have sinned. I was supposed to trade him a vulnerary from someone, right? Oh, uh, he's got two. Perfect. And you look like you'd use one. Bait you over here with an actual weapon, and on the fork is why not. Uh oh. Erling, don't die. Ooh. That is an excellent don't die. Should have been a little bit more cautious about the uh, enemy ranges there. Now I am a spot of trouble. Alright, so Solvig, I think, can land an attack here. 91, I'll take it. And I think what I need this guy to do is just end... Ooh, help to end this one. So, let's try on animations. Standard archer animation, but you know, it's nice to see. Oops. Alright, and now uh, we have to figure out what to do with Erling so he doesn't die. <clears throat> I think the most important thing is to get some damage on this guy and try to actually kill him. This could be a bit of a problem. Can I do this? Hit! Decent payoff. Okay, strength and defense, you know, very practical. Okay, seven, nine, okay, this is guaranteed. <clears throat> no need to even worry. Wait, can she, yeah, she can move to your side. Okay, now I have to kill this soldier because otherwise I think he'll just bop Lozier over here. Yep, still in the 
threat range. Speed and resistance. Okay, remember that. Yeah, I can't get him out that way either. Okay. <clears throat> That'll be it then. Just gotta hit this shot. Not even guaranteed. 82%. Okay, we got it. It's free real estate. Okay, how does this guy do? He doesn't. I can actually get away with this. So I'm gonna just lance this guy over here. And pick up the kill with my 2-3 range bow archer. What, he doubles? Yo, I have a guy that doubles. All right, Asgard is great. Now we need the Lance Guys for it, so let's do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can toss out a Sword Guy, too. Can I? Speed 5, Speed 7. Am I weighed down by either of these? No. Easy money. I have overestimated the easiness of this money. Unless... Four! Okay, I've overestimated the easiness of this money. Six... I'll have to just calculate. Okay, eight... Minus four, five... It's not fantastic, but... Okay, she won't die on here. Which means I can get with this. He... Might get crit to death. Also spooky. You know what? I'll accept the risk of that. And this allows everyone to move through safely. This guy moves, which is nice, because he's just got an iron axe. Alright, cool. Let's uh Okay, I thought these were like snacks for a second. I was like, can I make a land bridge across this mountain by popping one? No, unfortunately the game will not reward such stupidity. Or will it? No it won't. Worth a shot. Okay, and now, do they have a support together? Well, they don't yet. Dang, not, uh, not very serious about your dating, are you? Wait, don't I recognize you from somewhere? Come here, let my axe have a closer look at you. The funny part is, neither of these guys are like the ones that fought him before. And also, I didn't even fight him with any of the militia, so you know, double wool. Nice. I live again. This guy also doesn't move. I'm curious about that house. I'm gonna go for this. And I got a rusted sword. Nice. Okay, so this is working out nicely. This... this is not. Right, I'm gonna have to risk this 1% crit, which is disgusting, but you know. Actually, I'm not attacking with her again, so let's do this. And I think this actually, uh... yeah, and I don't have to worry about the crit anymore. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see what you got. Man, I trained so hard too. Alright, that's pretty funny. Erling? Better turn up. There we go. Good job, Erling. Alright, house there. 
and check it out. Oh, hi there! It seems you got rid of that scoundrel who was loitering outside my hut. I've been too afraid to go out all day. Here, take this as a thanks. Hey! I can always use more of those. This was supposed to be easy money. I know. I am great. <laughs> Alright, I like her now. I mean, I liked her before, but now I, you know, good unit. I could visit the village with him, or I could send him to actually do stuff. And I need this guy to actually do stuff, because he does stuff well. I knew it. I knew those pesky Denalians would attack sooner or later. Never liked them, no siree. Have you seen the way they dress? I, 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 I haven't, actually. They, they seem like they dress normally, but you never know. Alright, we got axes and lances. Best to meet them with axes and lances. And she has an iron axe, right? Let's get that traded over. Trade train... Get shot! I wonder if he can finish that guy now. Oh yeah, 91% accuracy. Get branted on. Now here's the question, will Erling just die? Will he die for the axe guy? No he won't, okay. Erling is fine here. And I can move everyone else up. I just, these look like the snags, so I have the, like, the urge to just try and attack them. Even though, like, you know, I, I should know that I can't. Okay, I kind of need this guy over here. Might have been a bad idea to leave him all the way there. Go early. Ow. Okay. Meaty. Let's hurry through the pass, man. Wait, over there. Sedenian stragglers. Get him! Okay, so you can see the levels of the units next to their names. These guys are not a big deal. I'll be fine. Mage kill. Yo, my ranged units in this? Mm. Ooh, see that? See that? No risk. And since we're running kind of long time, this will probably be the last chapter I play for this Let's Play presentation, so I'm just going to give the kills to whoever I want. We can get through this, my love. We got skill and speed. That's good. Alright. That's a healing. Yeah, this map is pretty big. Sir, we're having problems, sir. What's going on, boy? A group of Sedanians are fighting our men in the past, sir. Sedanians, eh? Well, that is to be expected. Let them come. My sword arm needs exercise. Okay, Owen. Okay. Cool. Let's just compare. Rusted Axe, 10 damage, 84. Iron Axe, 12 damage, 94. I'm so glad I have this Iron Axe. What if this guy just has, like, limited bow charges? I know I said this is the last chapter I'm doing, but still, you know, the conservator within me balks at the idea of wasting a precious 2-3 bow. Let's have Erling get the kill. Come on, Erling, do something. You've done something! Am I s stronger? Yes, you are! Literally. You got strength. Good job. So we got some reinforcements coming from the south. They're not that threatening, but just in the spirit of things, let's hurry everyone along. Thank you for saving us. Those bandits were going to burn our helms and sell us as slaves. They also need to be looking for someone or something. Please take this weapon as thanks. 
Hey, Javelin's good. Oh, I gotta discard something? 1478. 1878. Oh, so the Javelin's strictly worse than this, but I get rid of this busted sword. Because, you know, Lord's got a perf sword anyway, so there you go. Is it actually a perf sword? I never checked. Wait a second. Oh, whoops. It is not a perf sword. Anyone can use it. But I'm gonna give it back to her. Wasted a little bit of time there, but you know, that's just how it goes. I don't want him being the one to fight a sword guy, so here's my strat. Don't get crit, Erling. Okay. Good job listening. Yeah, any difficulties I appear to be encountering on this map, my own fault for leaving my uh, big guy behind. You want to really play with your Jägens while they're still useful. Now I don't even know, maybe this guy has like huge growths or something. You can't tell the growths on the screen that I can tell. Okay, she got two I am great uh, level ups in a row. Ooh, iron sword, okay. So she has the cheap sword. I'll give him the iron sword. And I'll give him some healing. <laughs> Not that he's gonna fight this guy, because this guy has a sword. It seems like an awful, awful idea. I gotta bait this guy out for someone. Rose does 19. And she's got that tome too. 9. Okay, she's got 7 speed. And this guy only does 13. Safe! Extra safe! Okay, so he doesn't move. And he's got a uh, 1 1 range sword and an EXP drink. And, uh, focus. Grant hit and avoid plus 20 if there are no allies within three tiles. A dastardly mercy. Alright, that's pretty- okay. His, the country's name is Askia. This guy's name is Askar. I'm wondering if there's some relation there. I mean, I don't know, but... We're having such a nice time that you just had to interrupt. Please be gone. Alright, you know what? This is the boss battle. It's time to turn on the animations just for fun. Because we're just going to be poking this guy anyway. Okay, so something I noticed. There's no battle specific of music, so the map music plays, like, uh, continuously. I don't have any opinion on that, I'm just playing it out. It is pretty fun sometimes when, like, there's, uh... The map music is, like, uh, really intense, so it just keeps playing through the battle. I like that. Also, the rain doesn't seem to do anything. I wonder if there'll be big rain later that does do something. I'm not really sure. Am I being cursed with misses because I turned animations on? Is that it? I like Rose's palette. Ooh, nice hit. Does he in restore? It just says avoid 10. Hopefully not. These guys are getting close. Although I could, ooh, more guys. I could mop those guys up. But you know, they're presented like they're meant to be a major threat. So we might as well treat them as one. And that means getting my guy over here and trying to actually hit this guy. Come on, win, 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 win. Well done. Get her in range to capture. I mean, she already was, but you know, makes her feel better.
Okay, and here we go. Win, 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 win. 63%? Easy. Yeah, alright. That is boss kill. Boss quote kill? No boss quote? Another great level up? That'll do. Still three stats, still good. This is not what I planned for today. Okay, so the boss quotes come after the uh, battle event is entirely over. Okay, so now we just have to arrive at the inn. Uncle of Rod, thank the gods you're safe. Sylvie, what are you doing here? Bandits have taken the village. We've had to leave everything behind. I'm glad to see you in one piece. Are you all right? Well, they drank all of my ale, but we all seem to be mostly in one piece. Could we use the inn tonight? There's a lot of us, I'm afraid. Well, of course. After saving me, I'll help in any way I can. Thank you, Uncle. I can always count on you. I'll get started on the food right away. Okay. So, uh, I think the second chapter is probably where we're going to end off, because it's about 46 minutes in now, and I don't think I'll have enough time for another one. Uh, big maps, if you're into that sort of thing, or a big map, and a small map, actually, so, you know, it's pretty even. Uh, your units are not very strong compared to the enemy, but I don't know if that changes going forward, because the units we got in Chapter 2, pretty good. Archer guy, absolute, like, instant goat. Mage, also amazing. Your recruits, not amazing. But they do do two things. One, they really force you to pay attention to the whole weapon triangle thing so they don't die. And in fact, even terrain was like super important, not for the avoid bonus, but for that plus one defense to make sure that I wouldn't get hit and I wouldn't get killed by like a single stray crit. Um, the second thing their recruits are really nice for is if you are the type of player who really likes to raise recruits, you know what? Like, yes, objectively, they're usually bad units, but it doesn't mean you can't have fun with it. And if you have fun with that sort of thing, you might really like this Lex Talionis game. Not hack, see? I'm being very deliberate about that. Not hack. Uh-huh. Uh, besides that, five save files. Uh, I doubt that's going to be relevant to anyone, unless you play, like, a bunch of the different modes at the same time. Um, the story... Uh, I didn't really get far enough in the story to, like, give a good judgment on it, because the chapter was pretty long. But, uh, you know, it's coherent. The characters are likable enough. I'm enjoying them. So, you know, checks out. Uh, yeah. If you're in for, like, a bit of a slightly risky game, you know, like, uh, you want to really feel the, uh, blade against your neck, I would recommend this one. You will have to traverse, uh, larger maps perhaps, there was a lot of walking, but I personally don't think that's too bad of a thing. It adds atmosphere, especially when there's enemies chasing behind you. Uh, I do wonder if there'll be more 1-1 one -one bosses that are stationary to beat up on, but I think it would have actually been too hard if they moved because, oh man, that guy was meaty, that guy was dodgy, that guy had plus 20 hit and avoid when alone. That that would have destroyed me, so I'm, I'm really glad he didn't move. Uh, all right. Uh, that's it, you know, enjoy the rest of your Epi E3, or since the schedule's not out yet, if this happens to be the last episode, then enjoy, uh, life. Ciao.